I am back in my typical spot of the floor, but I just want to welcome you back. Yes, I had glasses. These are not um, blue light glasses, and I actually wanted to ask y'all a question because I've had lots of people like reach out saying they're doing virtual learning, and these are for the computer, but they're not for they're not blue light glasses. So if you have purchased blue light glasses, I need to know: are they worth the money? Are they not worth the money? What's your favorite brand? and all of the above because I want to purchase some because now that I'm doing virtual kindergarten I really do need something because my eye, I can tell my night my head starts to hurt right here and so just let me know second off I'm going to be showing you how I make my google site I did film this video at like 10 o'clock at night so I had it was kind of quiet but I'm going to show you how I did that here in a second I'm going to show you how I made my little stickers and everything that goes on that site I have no makeup on today I am chilling at the house it is the Friday before school starts we actually were for the past three weeks but today we had off and then Monday I start virtual kindergarten so half of our school is virtual and half of us are traditional so I'm really excited to see the kids. I know it's going to be so strange. I know some of y'all have already started back. So I hope that's going fabulous for y'all. I'm so ready for Monday. I'm actually getting parent emails today while I'm off. But I'm still answering them because in kindergarten, you know, the parents are always kind of worried and have a lot of questions, especially when they're doing at-home learning with their kids. So um, let's go ahead and get started on these Google sites. I am going to be showing you how to make a Google site this is mine that i created for school this year and um, i'm going to kind of be showing you how i did this in google slides like all of my fonts here and um stick and not stickers buttons that i made i did make in powerpoint on my actual school computer because they have the cute fonts as you know you can't get anything cute with google so i did these in here but i'm going to show you how to make them in google slides as well so there's my home screen where my kids will see all this. I have schedule, assignments, parent info, email about newsletter. So basically when you click these, it'll take you directly to where they need to go. I have a setting up at home, have like ideas of how they should set up. I put links for wobble chairs and such like that as well. I have contact information, the newsletter, our schedule links this is where I put all of the class links which I'll be showing you how I did this as well I did a basically like a bookshelf of read aloud so far that we're gonna be doing the first few days of school where if they click it it takes them to safe share to where they can listen to the book ad free which is super cool um, I have assignments where they can go each week and look at their assignments in here. Like I'll have morning meeting, recorded phonics, reading, and math. So that's to be determined because we're not actually allowed to record our Zoom lessons just yet. I have a work gallery just like you would have in your typical classroom, but it is going to be digitalized. I have my About Me page where I put a little blurb, pictures, some of my favorite things as well. So I'm going to go in and show you how I did. So when you go to Google Sites, let me back up one time, you're going to start with a blank screen. So you'll start with blank, give it a second to load up, and it's yours to customize. You can add text, you can add images, you can add docs. I'm just going to basically show you how I did mine, okay? Now up here on the title page, I made my header white and I copied and pasted an image that I made in, um, what's it called, in Google Slides, but PowerPoint, there we go. I don't ever use PowerPoint, so that's why. So let's go ahead and make one of those. We are going to duplicate this slide and I'm going to delete all of this. Boom. I'm going to add a rectangle. And I'm going to leave it transparent, transparent, and then I'm going to write just like welcome to kindergarten. And now the other one that I made was a lot more in depth, but I'm just, you can kind of make it your own. I'm just going to show you how I did it. So I'm going to get super big. I'm going to go ahead and use this font. Let's go ahead and center it because I'm a little OCD and everything needs to be centered. Bigger. And I'm just going to make it for time's sake. 
one color, which I want to go with hot pink. Boom. So from here, we are going to download as a JPEG image. Okay, and it's just going to be this slide. With that, um, you could take a screenshot on your Mac if you know how, but if you don't know how to take a screenshot of it, you can edit your image and crop it. Otherwise, you're going to have this whole big piece that you don't want. So I'm going to do that, click crop, and now it's done. Okay. And I'm going to go back to my slide, choose an image, select image. Now I'm not going to make it the whole background because it will cut it off. I do want the large banner, no, just the regular. And I'm going to do upload. And since the background of select image, it's going to pull it here. You'll type in white. Boom. Which I don't know why that blue's there. Let's see if we can find another one. White background. There we go. No blue. Now I'm going to add a placeholder and I want to drag it up top. Add, upload, and find that sign that you made. Do that and then you can make it as big as you want. Center it. Whoa, my computer's going crazy. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do this and then if you it starts to cut off like up here, just click the uncrop image and it'll straighten it up and then I will click preview and I will see what it looks like on my screen. Personally, see how it's a little blurry? I think PowerPoint has some better cut lines than Google, than Google Slides when making this, but since I don't have Google Slides on my I mean PowerPoint, oh my goodness, on my computer. I'm just going to use Google Slides today. Then I'm going to come over here and add a layout. Now, you can add the layouts. I'm just going to click this one for sake. And I like to make my backgrounds black. Goodness gracious, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Select image, search, black. background and this is where we're going to place our stickers so I'm going to delete the text delete and I'm going to keep the placeholder now I already have one made I went ahead and made my stickers what I did is I just put a shape filled it in put some text and that's it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download as a JPEG image all right, now this is what's a little bit annoying about this is because in PowerPoint, you can copy and paste each of these as a image, but you cannot do that here. So since they are circular, I'm going to click elliptical section in my crop and then go from there and then crop, convert. There it is. And then I'm just going to exit out and then come to my Google site. I'm going to upload. Now I already made the pink one earlier when I was messing around with it. So I'm going to click it, open, uncrop, and there's my first sticker. If I want another sticker, I'm going to add a placeholder and it's going to drop it below every time. And you bring it up, click, upload and go down to your next sticker and open crop, which I'm going to have to, obviously my font was different whenever I did parent info. Boom. So I have both of my stickers now. Now I'm going to go over here to pages. I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to write parent info. All right. It's going to open you up to a new page. So I'm going to click back home and see now you have parent info up here as well for them to click on. If you wanted to link your sticker to parent info, you're going to click your sticker, click the link button, 
and click parent info and apply. So now, whoops, I don't want to publish anything yet. Preview, you can go and piddle with it. You can click on it and it should take you to parent info as so. I'm going to exit preview view and I'm going to come back to the home page. Now let me show you how to put your email in here. I'm going to come back, download again as a JPEG because I have my email right here. I'm going to crop that as so, which it's probably not going to be perfect. So let's go ahead and crop and exit out. Go here. Now we are not going to add button. I don't like adding the button. I like adding it as a placeholder. Upload. Scroll on down to your email me. It's going to look really messed up. And then you're going to shrink it on down. Drag over here. Which obviously I'm not like cropping this as good as I should be. I'm just doing it to show you. So then you're going to click insert link and you'll just type your email. Okay. And whatever you're trying to click backspace here. And then as soon as you link it, you think the parents can click it and it'll pull up your email from their computer to send to you, which is super cool. So you can lay out this however you want when you get done. It's very easy to piddle with. Now, some of the things that I like are, I have not used collapsible text. I'm going to show you what I've done. On my About Me page, I have used Image Carousel. So that is where you can come in here and just add some different photos. Now, I'm just going to add a few that show up. Like here she is. I want this one, this one, and this one open. You just choose your images you want to showcase. Once they all depends on his computer, so it's taking mine a little bit longer to load. There we go. Insert. And there is going to be my um, carousel. So when you preview, you can actually see it. So parents can come through and click and see pictures that you want to do. Whenever you are not in preview view, you cannot flip through them. You just have to be able to edit it. And that's it. You can add a Google Calendar. You can add a YouTube video by link, docs, maps, slide sheets, literally anything that you want to do. Let me come to mine again. And these right here, how I made the about me in the cute font. Because if you know if you're in Google, you are not allowed to have anything cute. So it's just going to be this font. And you can change the size of it. Uh, so, but what I did is I made an image for each one, deleted the text, and added it as an image just like what we did for the Welcome to Kindergarten home screen. That's all I did differently. Now, let's go to Parent Info. Let's go ahead and insert. Let me fix this because that just looks really ugly. Boom. I'm going to bold it. I do like one of my favorite backgrounds on the Google thing are um, colorful stripes. And it's this one. It's just super cute and I love it for primary or just elementary in general. You can bold it. If you don't want to go through all the trouble, you can definitely find cute backgrounds and just put your words in and be done. So now for like the for parent info you can put an image of whatever you want and a little welcome back and then add your text to it you can also embed links to that if you want to add buttons like you can put go or just put home page and you can like home insert so that way, if parents want, like if you want to put this at the bottom, parents can go click and it'll take them back to the home page if they're having trouble toggling through. And like with mine, I have under my parents, I have contact setting up expectation FAQs. You can come and to do that, you add a new page and you can type 
what was one thing I just said? FAQ, FAQs, done. And it's gonna be its own separate page unless you drag and drop into. Then you get the little arrow with the drop down, which is pretty fabulous. You can duplicate pages, add it sub pages, themes, if you wanna do it the purple theme or impression, all kinds of stuff. Super fun. Of course, I'm going to choose pink, which doesn't really do much, but still fun to play around with this stuff. All right, let's come over here. Whenever you are wanting to add something from your drive, you click drive. Oh, not my draft. That's my other one. Oh well. You just basically click it and it pops right in. YouTube, if you have a link you want to look like, let's go to my YouTube real quick. YouTube. Let's go to my channel. Here we go. So if I want to share, copy, I can come here. Oops. Paste. Uh, boom select image so if there are stories you want your kids to watch or anything of the sort there it is ready to go on your page so when you look at it like this it's just like that it's literally amazing I've been trying to get some Jack Hartman videos online I've been pizzling around trying to find some fun songs and I love adding them through YouTube but one thing I like more is going through safe share especially if you have those younger ones Safe share goes and takes all the ads out, takes everything out. It's just the video, which let me I think I showed you already in my read alouds where you click it and it takes you straight here and they don't have to have an account or anything. Love it. Obsessed. All right. To add a banner like this underneath, I think you might be shocked at how I did it. All you do is you add a placeholder that I want to a lot. I wanted to add a text. Where is text? A lot. I'm just going to add this and then I'm going to delete and then I'm going to delete this. But in your banner, you have to have some type of word somewhere. So I'm going to write here. It, Answers to some. Obviously, I would not put that in reality. Bold it. Section background, emphasis to there. You can do it like that. You can click an image, upload. Oh, I keep clicking upload. It's select image, select image. Search, you can type in tie tie dye put that in there that's not a regular one. I like this one better select you can really customize it to your liking I've seen people do farmhouse I have seen people like me do contrasting black and white I just think it's much more clean and cut and paste like I said now if you want it to link if you have a platform we are using seesaw so what I did is I found an image of seesaw uploaded it into a placeholder and linked the Seesaw account to it. So they click it and it takes them straight to where they need to log in. Now to do that, let me get a little bit better with that. Home, we're just gonna do it down here. I'm gonna delete this. If I can, delete, perfect. I'm gonna add this, delete, and here is my thing. I'm going to select image. If you have a remind, if you have whatever you want to use, say you want to link it to Amazon, like an Amazon wish list. Click Amazon, whichever image you want to use. Insert link www.amazon.com. Apply. It's there. So when they go through and click it, It'll take them straight there. And I just did that. You can copy and paste any link that you want to use. I just think that is personally the best. 
Let me see if there's anything else that I need to show you. If you use calendar, it's going to be your Google calendar, which there's my email that it's going to use. You can add dividers that split the page in half. So when you look up here, you're not going to be able to tell, but see it adds that really thin line if you're trying to split things up. So pretty much guys, that is it. This is my website. If you want to go through and look at it some more, you can. There is the link. And if you have any questions, be free. feel free to email me and I will definitely reach out and help you as much as I can. Thank you so much. And if you would like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more like this, just let me know. Thanks, guys. See you next time.